Hello everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Here we have a challenge on the board and it's a, a trigonometrical equation from Matt Oliped. Now the question is 2 to the power of sine square x plus 2 to the power of cox square x equal to 3. What are the possible values of x? All right, before we go into today's challenge, if you're new to this channel, this is all I must TV where we drop amazing video all the time. If you don't subscribe, do it to subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified by the YouTube algorithm whenever we drop an amazing video, a wonderful video, like the one you're about to watch here now. Because at All I Must TV, we drop nice videos all the time. Now let's go into today's challenge without much wait of time. So we put down our solution. All right. Solution. Let's put down our question here. So we have 2 to the power of sine square x and flux. Our 2 again to the power of cos square x, the equal to the 3. Now, let's take a good look at this question. Here we are having sine square s and here cos square s. Though the basis are the same, but since the exponents are different, what do we do? Here we're having a plus sign. So the only thing we, we could do here is to think of um, bringing out some special trigonometrical identity. Now, if you recall, we have uh, our trigonometrical identity. I'll say we have sine square x plus cos square x. This is equal to 1. Remember this? Good. So if we succumb to this trigonometrical identity, then... We can do something special to this side. From here, let's make x the subject of the formula. Sorry, sine square x. So if we make sine square x the subject of the formula, this will now give us here 1, there, minus your cos square x. Good. Let's put the whole of this into this portion here, or this position here. Okay? Now, we could as well make cos sine square x the subject of the formula also but here i decide to make this the subject of the formula so let's rewrite the whole of this equation and so our equation will now becomes 2 to the power of 1 minus cos square x there flux there your 2 to the power of cos square x equal to your 3. good now we now discover that we have cos square x and cos square x here now Let's rewrite this expression we have here now. Because here we have a minus sign. So we can succumb to the product rule of um, your indices. Okay? So we can now rewrite this as your 2 to the power of 1 times, which is multiplication, 2 into minus cos square x. All right? Then plus your 2 to the power of cos square x equal to your 3. Very easy. Okay, now with what we have here now, look at what we're going to do here now. Look at this exponent, it's carrying a negative sign. So we can have to rewrite this again. Remember the um, law of indices which says that if you have 1 all over your, um, let's take a to the power of m, this is same thing as your a to the power of minus m. Okay, by removing uh, this minus sign, we introduce this. Or for us to introduce minus sign, we write this in this format. So we cannot rewrite what we have here in this uh, format here. So let's continue on this side of the bird. So let's erase this. All right. So here we're going to have this to be 2 all over your 2 to the power of cos square x, okay, plus your 2 to the power of cos square x, then everything equal to your 3. At this point, all we need to do is to bring in another alphabet to represent our 2 to the power of your cos square x. Okay, so from here we can now say let, let your 2 to the power of cos square x be equal to uh, p. So let's take p. So our equation will now become 2 all over your p plus your p uh, equal to 3. So let's eliminate this p here. 
but I multiply it through by p. So this will now give us 2 plus your p squared, the equal to, is equal to your 3p. So if we rearrange, we're going to have here p squared, the minus 3p, then plus your 2 equal to 0. Okay. Now, if we look at this, this is a quadratic equation. So we can solve this by factorization method. How? Let's bring out the factors of 2. And uh, from the factors of 2, think of two numbers that when multiplied together, will give us plus 2. Then their addition will give us minus uh, 3. And you know the factors of 2 are just 1 and 2. All right. So we're going to have this to be p squared minus 2p minus p plus 2 equal to zero. We can put this in bracket and also put this in bracket. So we look at the terms that are common to each of these brackets. What are the terms that are common to here? So here we have just p. So p into p square we are left with p. Okay. Then p into 2p we're left with 2. So let's put this in bracket. Minus what is common here is just 1. So 1 into p will give us p. Then minus times plus will give us minus. So we now have here 2 bracket equal to 0. And if you look carefully again, what is in this bracket is same thing here. So we take this outside and one of the one in. So this now give us P minus 1 close bracket bracket P minus 2 close bracket or equal to 0. At this point, we can succumb to uh, the zero product rule. We say that we equate this to zero, equate this to zero. So if we do that, we're going to have this will be p minus one equal to zero, or your p minus two equal to zero. Again, let's continue on this side of the bird. All right, so from here, our p, we can say therefore p is equal to your one or two. Okay. So these are the two possible values of p from our quadratic uh, equation here. Okay, so now that we've gotten the value of p, we don't have p in our first expression here. So we now recall to where we said let 2 to the power of cos square x equal to p. So, so that we can actually get the value for p. So from here, we now say recall, we have to recall, that's your 2 to the power of curse square x is equal to p. This is square, please. Is equal to p. So we have case 1, case 2. So let's take case 1, case 1. Under case 1, we have our p is equal to 1. So this will now give us 2 curse square x is equal to 1. So the bases are, are different, but here we can put 2 as a base here and raise it to power 0 because 2 to the power of 0 will give us 1. So we cannot rewrite this as 2 to the power of cos square x equal to 2 to the power of 0. This, this leaves system, so we have cos square x is equal to 0. So if we square both sides, sorry, if we take the square root of both sides, we're going to have curves x equal to 0. From here, we're going to have our x is equal to the at curves, okay? The cos inverse of what? 0. Very easy. So the next question we ask ourselves now is, what is the cos inverse of 0? All right, so if you push this into your calculator, this will give you 90. So we now have our x is equal to your 90 degree. So this will now give us here um, x, a tenth of um, your pi, this is a pi all over 2. And so if x will state more than once, we are going to have multiple values of x for here. And what will be the multiple value? It's going to give us um, the odd products, okay? It's going to give us the odd products of x. Okay, so uh, what are the odd products of x? So we're going to have our x, therefore, is equal to, I'm uh, going to have this to be your pi, okay, all over 2, and then the odd product, this, this next one will give us your 3 pi all over 2, and uh, the next one will give us a uh, 5 pi, 
okay, 5 pi all over uh, 2 and so, so and so forth. Okay, so if you plug this into your calculator, this will give you uh, 90 degree, the, this will give you um, 270 degree, the, this will give you... All right, so this is for case one now. So let's go to case two, okay? Our case two where we have our P to be uh, two. So let's erase this. So we have here case two. What is our case two? We have P is equal to two. So we take our expression again, which is two to the power of curves square X equal to your two. Now, if you check this now, you discover that the bases are the same. So this is to the power of one. So the bases will take care of themselves. So we now have this to be curves square X equal to, we're going to have this to be your curves uh, X equal to the square root of one. Then we introduce our plus minus here. So we're going to have this to be curves X is equal to plus minus one. All right. In other words, we're going to have two cases from here again. Okay, so under your case one, so let's take here case um, case two star. So let's take this as case two star. Case two star, we're going to take the positive one. So we have cross your x equal to one. So we take the arc curse of both sides. So we're going to have this x is equal to your arc curse of positive one. And if you push this into your calculator, S is going to give us zero degree. Okay, so let's continue here. All right, so let's continue here. So from here, let's see what this gives us. We're going to have our X equal to zero degree. Again, we ask ourselves, what if X turns more than one or has a multiple rotation? What would be uh, the next value of our X so from here, we carefully get X to be 90 degree, okay? If it turns around again, so uh, if we, we have to write down all the possible values of S automatically, this will give us um, the evil product of X, okay? The evil product of our, our path, which is going to give us here, S is equal to zero, and uh, uh, the next one will give us pi, okay? Then the next one will give us two, pi and the next one will give us four pi and so on and so forth okay so we take the second one which is your case um two star star where we have our x to be um minus so we now have this to be your curse x is equal to minus one so we have here your x is equal to the arc curse of your minus one. All right, so if you push this into your calculator, this will give you a 180 degree. So we have this to be 180 degrees. So our X is equal to your pi. Okay, but here there's different between this because this is your negative or may why this is your positive. Here we have the evil product of your um, pi here, right? But here we're going to have your evil product minus one in this regard here okay so if it is your evil product minus one in other words this um the value of pi will therefore give us your s rather value of x will give us here your pi the first one then the next one will give us three pi then the next one is going to give us here uh, five pi and da 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 da, da. So these are some of the possible values of um, x that we satisfy our equation. The other one? Okay. So these are the possible values of x that we satisfy our, our trig equation. Okay. Your math lipid question having a trig uh, function. All right. So this marks the end of this uh, math lipid challenge. Okay. The uh, trig equation from Matolipet Challenge. If you get something from this uh, solution, give the video a thumbs up, and if you have a better way of solving this, leave it in the comment below. Again, this is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jake's Anemo. Remember, I love you, because you are always there. Thanks.
for being there all the time. And every one of us at Online Mass TV loves you. Bye for now.